Hi, and welcome to History's a Blast. I'm at Fort Loudon, Pennsylvania today, historic Fort Loudon, about a mile southeast of the village of Fort Loudon, right off of US Highway 30, about 11 miles west of Chambersburg. And we are going to walk around uh, a very large area today and look at all of the vendors and the living historians from the 1750s French and Indian War, Frontier, Pennsylvania. So come along for the walk and enjoy it with me. Just walk around for a while, I guess. Holy cow. And there's the reconstructed Fort Loudon. See the, the 18th century, they had the signs. Draper making woolen goods. There's a leather worker. Signs. Copper. Copper Smith here. Oh my goodness, that's Mr. Forge. Blanket maker. Not very sturdy freestanding bastions, but I'm playing with the swivel gun up there. Ah, oh, the surgeon's dis the doctor's display, huh? Doctor, surgeon. But, however, let me tell you this, I came here on the Sunday of the multi-year event. At church. I know, I do too. Well, I came after church. No, I was here Saturday. I know you were here, that's what they said. You, Royal American? Or, no, no. No, but, uh, okay, you're on the right track. Okay. Okay, so, uh, the Royal Americans were Americans in British service. Right. All, we are, we are uh, Americans in colonial And, and of course, I was going to say, in 1775, you would have, everybody would have been in, in, in colonial <laughs> or provincial yeah, service. So, I, I, yeah, you're right. So, same, same period, but, um, uh, uh, this was, uh, I'm portraying the professional soldiers of the colony of Pennsylvania. Uh, okay. Yeah, so not Redcoats, not Royal Americans, not militia. But, but uh, the, the French and Indian period, the, the 1750s. When they, were, they were wearing red in support of the British. When, 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 when Philadelphia finally got serious and and, ben Fra and, and listened to Ben Franklin. Well, and, and actually, that's, that's when I have people like you uh, who are into the, the history, that's what I talk about, is the fact that uh, there was a initial period when the Quakers were still largely in control of the uh, right. legislature, and so they were very to making war because yep. they're pacifists yep. and yep. so essentially it required a change of government.
inside Fort Loudoun. Well, there's the, there are the colors. And you, sir, are Delaware or Iroquois or Seneca? Sen Seneca. Oh, I got my gorget from Braddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Greetings. Oh, this is the, this is I, I thought this was the, I thought this was a storehouse, but this is a uh, guardhouse. Yeah. This is which would be next to the gate. So yep. yeah. <laughs> That's our dump. How do you adjust um, the temperature? Do you have we got it about a third floor already. An instrument that looks or just we got the old yeah. doors. So those shoes need to be resold, but they took polish. So <laughs> you know. People in the came out. Joiner shop. Working with those. Yeah, that This is really an extensive, extensive camp. Oh, goodness. Oh, this is the trading area. Hell Town. Get a Tenny Mountain. And there's Arnold's Knob. And the military road is historically wrapped around the base of Parnell's Knob heading into here, into Fort Loudon. 1756 to 58. There's an outfitters. The Visa and HM MasterCard accepted it. MasterCard and Mistress Visa. Mistress Visa.
Oh, there's a nice view of inside of a tent. That's it for this time. I hope you enjoyed this video and will take time to view some of our other ones. Please click the thumbs up icon to like the video and share with your friends via email or social media. I'd love to have you subscribe and if you do, please click the little bell icon so you'll get notifications whenever I post a new video. Goodbye!